look like. <laughs> We're in the Florida Keys at a popular local swimming spot, and today I'm metal detecting with a few friends to see what we can find at the bottom of this swimming hole. This is gonna be so much fun. We got Frank and his family, he's magnet fishing. I'm not too sure what he's gonna find. Some local people did say there's two cars underwater, so he could find a car. <laughs> or maybe your dignity, Frank, what do you think? Maybe. Maybe, if he's lucky. And then we have Mike right here. We teamed up with Mike in the past. Looking forward to it. Looks like a super cool spot. We got Alex. How exciting. We're gonna go down there and see what we can find. Well, here's the gear I'm using today. I've got my big metal detector and pinpointer to locate those items. I also have a little scuba compressor called the Nomad by Blue. That will be linked in the description below. Make sure you check them out. But we're gonna get down there in this murky water and hopefully come up with a few rings. Let's do this. This is a popular swimming hole. Should sure. be a lot of stuff down there. I'm honestly a little nervous. It drops off pretty deep and it's murky. I don't know what's down there. You guys ready? Yes, sir. Let's do this thing. So I'm dropping down underwater for the first time and what I'm noticing right off the back is that it's super muddy down at the very bottom. It's silty. I don't know how this is gonna go, but I'm gonna try my best to find some things. So in this particular area, I am finding so many coins, left and right. I'm finding pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters. It is so much fun. Let's see how many coins we can find. Before we continue this adventure, this video is sponsored by War Thunder. War Thunder is a free vehicular combat multiplayer game available on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and Mac. You can battle on land, sea, or air fighting with millions of players worldwide using ground vehicles, aircraft, and Navy vessels. There's a huge selection of vehicles from 10 different countries. The vehicles are both prototypes and historically accurate models from the beginning of the 20th century to modern times. Every vehicle can be customized and upgraded with new armor, special equipment, new skins, and various camouflages so that you can perform better in battle and look awesome too. The locations of these battles also span across the globe. Complete missions and fun objectives in lifelike locations with advanced graphics and real world physics applied. Since War Thunder is constantly expanding, there are always new features that would be exciting to try. They recently received a huge update called Danger Zone that brought the legendary F-14 aircraft in Napalm into play. You can now fly like a Navy Top Gun pilot and burn enemies from the sky. Thanks War Thunder for sponsoring today's video. You can download War Thunder for free with my link in the description below. As a special gift, all new players and those who haven't entered War Thunder for the past six months or more will receive a half a million Silver Lions, a week of renting legendary German ground vehicles, three premium vehicles, XP boosters, a week of premium account access, and other bonuses. I look forward to seeing everyone download War Thunder and playing it, but let's get back underwater to see what other treasures we can find today. Mike was swimming right in front of me. I did not know what it was. I don't know what kind of animals are in here. It could have been a shark, a crocodile, I don't know. <laughs> but my heart right now is just racing, but it was just Mike. Woo! Started off a little rough. We went in the middle of the channel, super silty, couldn't see nothing. but. We're pulling through right now. We're finding coin after coin after coin. It's so much fun. I haven't found any jewelry yet, but I'm gonna keep at it and hopefully we get lucky. It's just a blast regardless, finding stuff. <laughs> I'm a little kid out here. If you're enjoying this video so far, please leave a big thumbs up. With your support, I'm able to actually make more videos, and with the money I make, I'm able to help other people find their lost valuables completely for free. So if you support what I'm doing, please leave a thumbs up, and if you're new, make sure to subscribe. But let's see what else we're gonna find here. <laughs> Ooh. 
I want to give you guys a quick update. I am finding so many coins. It's seriously penny after penny and then quarters every now and then. But my friend Scott here told me maybe why I'm finding this. John and Penny, an old couple used to come down here and Miss Penny passed away. So we had a gathering and we drilled a hole in the rock and we put some of her ashes in the rock and we capped it with a penny. John always had a story saying everywhere he goes he finds a penny. So we kept that going and so now we all throw pennies at the rock and like saying hi. John passed away recently and uh, we drilled a second hole. In honor of John and Penny, every penny that I find today, I will be tossing back into this spot in memory of them. So that was awesome, man. Thank you for sharing the story. Looks like these people may have lost a ring and I'm gonna try to find it for them. Well, my friend lost it. He put his girlfriend's ring on his finger and then it slipped off his finger. Oh yeah? She got it from Iceland. Oh, yeah? It's really, really important to her. So if like, you can just take a look. See yeah, yeah. Find it, Where's great. that, you think? It's at the beginning of the pool and it's in like the shallow section by the rock. Oh, let's go check it out, come on. Yeah, that's cool. All right, where y'all think he lost it? It's like in this general area where I'm standing right now. Gold? You said? Uh, silver. silver. It's okay. about like this size. All right, perfect. So, it's pretty big. here we go. <laughs> this would be pretty sweet if I could find it. Did it drop off the ledge or? Yeah, like a little bit more forward. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm looking for a silver ring right now and I'm checking all the cracks. I don't know if the silk covered the ring already, but let's glance around and see if we can find this thing. Oh my goodness, you guys, I just found the ring. This is crazy, I can't believe it. It happened so fast. Now what I'm gonna do real quick is actually put it inside my wetsuit, get out of the water and surprise him, and hopefully we can get a great reaction. All right, can you tell me what it looks like again? About this size, Yeah. Uh, maybe a little bit thicker. All right, did it look like this? Yeah. Hey! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> We did it! <laughs> We're in the out of the doghouse, dude! Yeah. <laughs> Megan lost her ring. We just found it. Take a look at it. That's pretty awesome. I mean, that was perfect timing. I happened to be here metal detecting, and then you happen to lose it right when I get here. What are the chances? I promise it was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just sitting right on the surface. I was like, whoo! I grab it, put it in my wetsuit. That's Thank awesome. You. You're welcome, like I got it during my semester abroad in Iceland. Wow, nice. yeah, so that would have sucked for you to leave. Yeah, this that would have been a long drive to go get a new one. <laughs> so I'm about to dive in this little spot right here. There's a car allegedly right here underwater. We're just gonna free dive, check it out. Well, there's indeed a vehicle underwater. Yeah, it's covered up pretty good. All right, I'm gonna make my way over here. <laughs> oh. Alex and Mike got cold and they got out of the water about an hour ago. But I'm braving the cold. I'm trying to stay down here as long as I can. Hopefully we get lucky and hopefully all this effort is worth it. I just located a signal. I think it's a good one. Let's see what this is gonna be. I found another ring. Check it out. Ooh, that's a nice one. Yeah. That's pretty. <laughs> so I don't know if there's a name on it, but that is so awesome. That's Finding awesome. a ring is such a fun time, man. man. That's a cool one. I don't know how he does it. That is, that is not easy <laughs> out there. No visibility, yeah. muck about this thick, Yeah. and this guy pulls out this guy. <laughs> that's so cool. That's that was a day awesome. maker right there, boy. <laughs> wow. That was like down in the muck, too. It was. After a long day of metal detecting, these are all my best finds. I found a bunch of coins, too many to count, a bunch of pennies, nickels, dimes and quarters. I found a bunch of pull tabs, a bunch of 
some bottle caps, some sinkers, some fishing lures, two rings. Other than the ring I already handed back, this one's pretty rusty. It might be a tow ring, but this one's pretty crazy. Alex also found a bunch of stuff. My personal favorite find of Alex's are these Gucci sunglasses. Let me see, boy. <laughs> so Mike, what'd you find? Uh, I got a beer bottle and a sock. <laughs> <laughs> I had a good time with everyone. Thank you guys so much for coming out. If you lost something that you want me to personally find, feel free to email me at findmylostvaluables at yahoo.com. Let's throw it out there to the rock just for them. In honor of John and Penny. That was cool. Beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.